Okay, um, this is letter, Epistle 21 of St. Cyprian. Um, this is written uh, by Lucian replying to Celerinus, which that was Epistle 20. I feel like a criminal reading other people's mail. Like, I hope the Roman Empire doesn't rise again and like I get accused of some crime for reading people's intercepted mail. That would be bad. If that happens, somebody visit me in jail. Lucian to Celerinus. Oh, sorry. Argument. Lucian assents to the petition of Celerinus. Lucian to Celerinus, his lord, and, if I shall be worthy to be called so, colleague in Christ. Greeting. For I have received your letter, most dearly beloved lord and brother, in which you have so laden me with expressions of kindness, that by reason of your so burdening me, I was almost overcome with such excessive joy, so that I exulted in reading, by the benefit of your so great humility, the letter which I also earnestly desired, after so long a time, to read, in which you deigned to call me into remembrance, saying to me in your writing, if I am worthy to be called your brother, of a man such as I am, Confess the name of God with trembling before the inferior magistrates. For you, by God's will, when you confessed, not only frightened back the great serpent himself, the pioneer of Antichrist, but have conquered him by that voice and those divine words, whereby I know how you love the faith and how zealous you are for Christ's discipline, in which I know and rejoice that you are actively occupied. Now, beloved, ready to be esteemed among the martyrs, you have wished to overload me with your letter in which you told us concerning our sisters, on whose behalf I wish that we could by possibility mention them without remembering also so great a crime committed. Assuredly, we should not then Think of them with so many tears as we do now. You ought to know that you ought to know what has been done concerning us. When the blessed martyr Paulus was still in the body, he called me and said to me, Lucian, in the presence of Christ, I say to you, if anyone, after my being called away, shall ask for peace from you, granted in my name. Moreover, all of us whom the Lord has condescended in such tribulation to call away by our letters, by mutual agreement, have given peace to all. You see then, brother, how I have done this in part of what Paulus bade me. As what we in all cases decreed when we were in this tribulation, wherein by the command of the emperor we were ordered to be put to death by hunger and thirst, and were shut up in two cells so that they might weaken us by hunger and thirst. Moreover, the fire from the effect of our torture was so intolerable that nobody could bear it. But now we have attained the brightness itself, and therefore, beloved brother, greet Numeria and Candida, who shall have peace, according to the precept of Paulus, and the rest of the martyrs, whose names I subjoin, viz. Bassus in the dungeon of the perjured, Mapalicus at the torture, Fortunio in prison, Paulus after torture, Fortunata, Victorinus, Victor, Herennius, Julia, Martial, and Aristo, who by God's will were put to death in the prison by hunger, of whom in a few days you will hear of me as a companion. For now there are eight days from the day in which I was shut up again to the day in which I wrote my letter to you. For before those eight days, 
for five intervening days, I received a morsel of bread and water by measure. And therefore, brother, is here, since the Lord has begun to give peace to the church itself, according to the precept of Paulus in our tractate, the case being set forth before the bishop and confession being made, I ask that not only these may have peace, but also all those whom you know to be very near to our heart. All my colleagues greet you. Do you greet the confessors of the Lord who are there with you, whose names you have intimated, among whom also are Saturinus with his companions, but who also is my colleague, and Maris Collecta and Emerita, Calphurnius, Maria, Sabina, Cespina, and the sisters Januaria, Dativa, Donata, the great Saturus with his family, Bassianus and the clergy, Uranius, Alexius, Quintanius, and Colonica, and all whose names I have not written, because I am already weary. Therefore they must pardon me. I bid you heartily farewell, and Alexius and Getulicus, and the money changers and the sisters, my sisters Januaria and Sophia, whom I commend to you, greet you.